All right. All right, me and Andrew woke up at, actually like 5.40. We woke up at 5.40 just for this, this right here. If you're wondering why, you already probably know. I'm here for like my own redemption, self-confidence, and because I think about it from here and there. So I'm here to do the trick that took me out for a few weeks because it's something personal now. It's a back over crook. So it's like. You should play the clip. Oh, basically I'm just here to redeem myself. And I'm, I'm, I'm just, I, I know I got it. It's just last time it caught me off guard. I was excited during the session. I literally was just having so much fun. And then boom, the second attempt of the back over kick, it just happened. So I'm gonna warm up on this ledge and then I'm gonna start trying that trick. <laughs> Dang, the warm up is real. That looked good though. I think you got it. How do you feel about this? Kind of like nervous. I know it's not really a big deal cause it's just a ledge, but it's just more of like flashbacks. And it's uh, second thoughts, but I'm pushing through it. I've been back on my board for a few weeks already. I've been building up the moment. Maybe I'm overhyping it in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think so. I feel like you've definitely been talking about it for a while now, so. It's so a, funny. I mean, this is good that we came out here. And whatever happens, happens. Yeah, well, who else do you know wakes up five in the morning to come redeem themselves? <laughs> Does anybody else go pee before they they do a trick? Like, are you nervous? Go pee, then you're like, okay, now I can skate. Do you like, do you ever get like nervous and you have to like poop? Nah, it's always pee. You never like, like ha I feel like had it's, that? Nah, but I feel like it's pee that I didn't even have and it just came out of nowhere. I'm like, oh, I gotta go pee now. Well, where did it come from then? I don't know, nervous, nervousness. It's just nervous? <laughs> That one felt better. It's so quiet. It like makes this moment more tense. But first battle. No slide. First no. battle. So right here, I was nervous that we were going to get kicked out by the security guard. And I was just pointing at Andrew and I was telling him, dude, what's going on? I don't want to make noise. Should I step on my board? Should I try it? Is this it? Am I not going to be able to try the trick that I woke up really early for? And I need to redeem myself because personally, I just feel like it's been bothering me. Shout out the universe. Just shout out the universe. You really be looking out for people. The guy just went inside the building and just, just kind of let us be. So shout out the universe because we continued the sesh. Feeling more warm. That was me wanting to get on. <laughs> Bro, it feels like I just summoned so much energy out of my body oh sick yeah you locked into it and everything yeah you have that i got hurt six weeks ago trying to trick and i'm just here to redeem myself you know what i mean yeah. dude that, you had that one i know it's more of like Overcoming that feeling. Okay, right here. I put my foot too low for the pop. Oh, 
my wheel's tapped. I gotta do it better. I did land like two of them before this one, mm -hmm. and those did the same thing, they hit. And even afterwards, after those two, uh, the confidence was starting to like build up into something else. Like I started thinking about twisting my ankle again. And like, that's a lot that I don't want to happen. So I was mentally battling that while telling myself that's not gonna happen. This is the reason I've been skating and I've been practicing that trick. So. I can come here and do it and just move on with my life. I do feel free now. I that was free. a really good one. Dude, I feel free. Cause like was... be, feeling free is amazing. Cause like now I get to go work on my video part. Like that's literally what I've been doing. Me and Andrew have been waking up early going and even after work, we we go film for a video part that I'm hoping to be done by April. So, I mean, this is just the beginning step to getting some confidence back because tr I'm pretty sure a lot of you that have twisted your ankle, when you twist your ankle, the confidence levels just just go down and you think about the trick that you twisted your ankle on. So this is, it's just, man, I feel relieved because to think that how my ankle looked, a lot of people were just checking up on me and I'm so thankful, like thank you everyone that messaged me because it, it truly shows that y'all care and if anyone else is going through a twisted ankle, I really hope that you heal up and just take the proper steps to get back on a board. Because like, I promise you, it's like, once you're gone for a while, you don't understand. I mean, you understand how much you want to skate again. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that. This is me redeeming myself after like six to seven weeks of twisting my ankle. I feel really good about this one. And it did, it was the back over crook. And some of you might not be able to tell, but this is a curved ledge. So that's what made it scarier to get on the back over crook because it's not a straight ledge, it's curved. So I have to get in at an angle, get into the over crook. And even if I'm doing an over crook, people can argue it's just a nose grind, but I know what I'm feeling and I'm hyped on it. Thanks for watching y'all. I'll see you in the next video. Sorry, not until next one.